Perfect. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Um, so le let's start first, uh, may maybe with you, Eve. Uh, EOS Networks, a um, name that we have known since 2017, one of the biggest um, ICOs, 4.5 billion back in, back in the days. Um, can you give us a little bit of an update about EOS, uh, where you guys are at, and the link between EOS and the metaverse? Sure. So, yeah, EOS. Everybody knows EOS because of the $4.1 billion ICO. What people don't know is that that did not go to developers. It did not go to the community. It essentially went to a private entity that the network essentially fired a year and a half ago. And it introduced new accountability measures to ensure that this never reproduces again. EOS essentially exemplifies what Web3 was built to do. It's basically token holders, community members taking the power back against corporate greed. EOS essentially is, is, or arguably is one of the largest, if not the largest DAOs in this space or in the world. So EOS, obviously because of that ACO, got a lot of fanfare, but you know, fast forwarding a couple of years, the ENF was formed. I formed this a year and a half ago, uh, rallying the community, reaching consensus to basically take faith in our own hands. And we, alongside the others that were leveraging the software, the underlying software, which we renamed to Antelope, formed a coalition. We formed a coalition with Telos, UX, and Wax, other chains that were using the underlying software. We rebranded, we took ownership of the code, ownership of the IP, and we started deploying sig significant amounts of, of capital into the space because the space was starved of capital, essentially. So the underlying tech was incredibly strong, but there was no marketing, no partnerships, no, you know, basically all of the other things that make an ecosystem come to life. Um, and a big part of that was funding. And so once the coalition was formed, we started deploying heavy capital in certain things, for example, like IBC, so inter-blockchain communication, which we just launched a month or so ago, which is quite key to the metaverse, and I think we'll, we'll touch upon that a little bit later. We're releasing in fall this year Instant Finality, which will, alongside inter-blockchain communication, really elevate that technology. So Instant Finality basically is just reducing that time to live down to between two to four seconds so that you can take one chain, parallelize it across horizontally and essentially have unlimited scalability. We're also releasing our EVM, our latest version of the EVM on April 14th. So last year, EOS deployed roughly 40 so million dollars back into the ecosystem, into the hands of community members, developers, various initiatives. We just announced a $100 million fund back in the fall VC fund for the for-profit side of things. And just four days ago, I announced that 20 million of that, that 100 million will be dedicated towards EVM and GameFi. So very relevant for the rest of this, this talk. So essentially, EOS is open for business.